1 Thessalonians 5.23, that God would uh, sanctify you, right? And that your whole spirit and soul and body, now look at this, spirit, soul, and body. Body is included, soul is included, right? Most people think just spirit. But it says your spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless. Your body is to be preserved blameless, right? That right there should convince people of divine healing. Right? Because if your body is corrupted, if your body has sickness or disease in it, then that is corruption in your physical body. Therefore, it is not preserved blameless. Your spirit can be preserved blameless. Even your soul might be. But, and your soul is preserved blameless to the degree that your mind is renewed to the Word of God and that living the Word of God is your way of living. Now, your body would be preserved blameless whenever your body has no sickness or disease in it. That would be an aspect of it. Now, not just sickness or disease, but also sin. So your body, see, the Bible says that Jesus, that he condemned sin in the flesh. And so even in our flesh, then you can commit sin by the flesh, both the physical flesh, but also by the fleshly nature because they work together. Now, in your spirit, when you get born again, that life comes in the life of God, Zoe, life of God, and that life in and of itself is everything that God himself is and has. That life comes into you. And again, I'm trying to, well, what is very clear in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. We always say a new creation, same thing. Now notice this next part. Old things are passed away. Behold, take notice, all things are become new. Now, where is this? This is in your spirit. This is not necessarily in your body or even in your soul. Now, when you get born again, your spirit gets recreated. You're a new creation. Everything in your spirit is gone. And now everything that was put in your spirit now is of God. Next verse actually says, and all things are of God. So old things are passed away. Everything's become new, and all this new stuff in you is of God. So the only thing in your spirit are things of God. Do you get that? Your spirit is not your problem if you're born again. Now, if you're not born again, your spirit is your problem because you're still in death. Your spirit is still dead, and it is still classified as sin, right? Not just that's why it does sin is because it is sin. Now, when you get born again, then you are made the righteousness of God in Christ. Why? And that righteousness does righteous. All right? Now, your soul, if it has not been retrained, according to the word of God, how to do righteousness, it will fight you. And your spirit will want to do what's right, but your soul will argue with you and fight, you, fight against you. Even the apostle Paul talked about this at one time. He said, the things I want to do, I don't do. And the things I don't want to do, I actually do. Well, that could be most Christians, right? Why? What does that mean? That meant that his spirit and his soul was arguing with, it, with it, each other. And so the mind has to be renewed to the word of God so your mind will not argue against what your spirit says. Now, what happens is you don't need your head knowledge to become heart knowledge. You need your heart knowledge to become head knowledge, okay? I know it's exactly the opposite of what you've heard before, but I'm speaking scripture. I'm not talking... I'm not just passing down to you something I heard from somebody else, right? I'm going back to Scripture and saying what Scripture says. Now, when you're born again, that your spirit becomes life. And that life is everything God is, and we become the fullness of him, right? And so what he puts in us, together we make up the, the body of Christ. And all of us have our part of the body of Christ. We're all like cells. A human body has, you know, how many, so many cells, and we are all individual members or cells of the body of Christ. Now, that in your spirit, you're right with God. In your spirit, everything in there is good because it's of God. Old things are passed away. But now in your soul, in your mind, you still have some battles going on. Now, to the degree your mind is renewed, to that degree you have battles. The more your mind is renewed, the less battles you have. Okay, so the real key, okay, if you've been born again, what you did was you gave permission to God to recreate you. He did that. He did a great job of it. He did a perfect job. You are complete in him. 
and you don't need anything else added to you in that sense, okay? Now, you need some things living through you and coming out of you, but everything was put in there. So it's there. Now, see, this is what most Christians don't realize. If you realize that when you got born again, everything that God has and, and all his blessings, everything, they have already been granted you, and they have already been placed in you, and now as you decide to have your mind renewed and you decide to believe the word of God, then those blessings are manifested out of you because out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And that living water is the spirit of God manifesting his life through your life. Does this make sense so far? Now, because what we're, I, I know I'm treading, uh, how can I say it, dangerous ground you might say. And ground that it's hard to teach in an open meeting like this because I don't know all of you individually. Uh, I have to keep emphasizing what I'm talking about or I'm talking to and about people who are born again, have the spirit of God in them. They are new creations, all right? I'm not talking about convicted sinners that try to go to church to get credit with God, right? I'm talking about people that actually got born again and in your heart, and in your spirit, everything about you wants to serve God, wants to live for God, wants to glorify God. And, but I'm not saying that there's no uh, you know, contention there because your mind might not be renewed enough to remove the contention. So I'm not talking about people with no inner turmoil. Right? You can have the inner tur turmoil. That just shows that there's parts of your mind that still need to be renewed. 